Baby Your Baby is brought to you in part by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Welcome back. Parents often face challenges when first weaning their child. Knowing when to start the process and what solid foods to introduce are some common concerns. In tonight's Baby Your Baby report, Mary Nichols shows us how to create a successful nutritional transition for your baby. Weaning an infant can be a daunting task. To successfully tackle the process, it's important parents learn the essentials. So somewhere around four to six months of age, they can start assessing readiness for feeding. Primary Children's Clinical Nutrition Manager Robin Oftenkamp recommends parents take caution when introducing their child to solid foods. Choking hazards are going to be any kind of hard fruit or vegetable that's cut um, less than a half an inch in size because a child could get that into their mouth and they don't have the motor skills to control where it goes. Often Kemp also says it's normal for infants to initially dislike the taste of new foods. It takes about 10 to 15 introductions to a food before a child will find them palatable. So if the infant spits out the vegetable the first time, don't give up. Just keep reintroducing. Freshness and portion size are two important weaning essentials. Fresh is best and preparing home cooked foods is going to be better. Parents may wonder how much food to give their infant. Servings should be one tablespoon per year of age. If you have a one-year-old, they should have a tablespoon of fruit, a tablespoon of vegetable, a tablespoon of potato or starch, and a tablespoon of meat. And that would be a well-rounded um, meal for them. Mary Nichols, 2 News. If you would like to learn more about properly weaning your child, you can go to KUTV.com, click on the Baby Your Baby link.